Hi, 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 this is Bernie again, talking to you as always from sunny San Diego, bringing you our latest episode of our Freedom Cast. And this one is about bridge networking. So, what's bridge networking all about? So, usually all your antlets are just reachable from within your Ansel. So, the Ansel has a separate subnet. Uh, where all your antlets live in. So this is, in our case, the 1042 subnet, right? So that means you cannot reach your antlets from outside the ansel. So you'd always have to go first into the ansel and from there into the outlet. So if you want to um, expose your antlets to your LAN, right, and have it seem like your antlet is just another device in your LAN in parallel to your ANSEL, not inside the ANSEL. Then you can use bridge networking. Um, that's actually cool stuff and, and, and many people love it. So let's see how it works. We click on the antlet name to get the antlet details. Um, we click on virtual network here and we can then add a new virtual NIC network interface adapter. Um, so all we have to do is create virtual NIC um, we get a few um, notes here on how to properly set it up. And um, so we did just that. So now we can, we have to configure stuff inside the Debian outlet. So that Debian knows we have a second NIC, um, which is bridge networking. So what we do, we can just edit this file here. Um, we edit it in Antlets, Deb, ETC, Network Interfaces. So just from Aster, from the Ansel, we can go directly into, into the Antlet, even though the Antlet is stopped. That only works with LXC Antlets, though. And then we have those configurations here, and we can just copy the ETH0, which is the first NIC, the Ethernet0, and then just copy it and make ETH1 out of it. So that way we have our second NIC here. Um, what we can now do is start the antlet. Um, so it's 10.4.2.12. So um, we can SSH into 10.4.2.12. Um, and uh, then use the ifconfig command to see what's going on. So we have ETH0, that is 10.4.2.12, and we have ETH1, which is 192.168.3.118. So that means we have a second IP address, and that is not in the Antlet subnet, right? This is in the subnet um, that has been provided by my router, and it looks exactly like one of those IP addresses that my Ansel has. So I can now access this Debian antlet with this IP address, 192.168.3.118. Let's just copy it, um, open a new browser tab, and uh, use this IP address. Oh, the eight has not come through. It's 192.168.3.118. Um, so, and as soon as we use this IP address, we have the Debian splash screen. So, um, that's awesome. We have bridge networking now. So, your antlet can be accessed just as if it was another device independent of your Ansel. We hope you find it as cool as we do. Um, if you did, don't forget to hit the like button on YouTube just below this video. Um, share it with all your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And um, talk to you soon. Bye.